Frederick County Parks and Recreation is always providing fun, excitement, and education for all demographics. Recently, Parks and Recreation wanted to combine history with technology by using a smartphone device. And this was made possible with the virtual reality app called Agents of Discovery. It's a national network and we were able to join that this past year and have started launching the application in a couple of our parks. Um, it will give people the opportunity to come, explore nature and engage in our parks while at the same time having a little bit of fun utilizing their current technology on their phones. Parks and Recreation released Agents of Discovery in the summer of 2022 and so far people of all ages are getting in on the action. It gives us the opportunity to engage our community in different ways and to encourage them to come back and visit our parks throughout time and to learn something new every time they visit. So anywhere from elementary to middle, though I've seen a lot of adults enjoy playing it. Staff at Parks and Recreation don't just create parks and sports, they also develop technology. We actually upload and control all the missions ourselves. Right now it's the staff at Rose Hill, Catoctin, Fountain Rock, and myself, what I call our interpretive staff team, um, who are used to providing educational programming. Um, those are the staff who are currently uh, uploading those missions and making them match again to the parks that you're in so that you're learning a little bit more about that park than maybe you would get if you were just walking around on your own. Just like being an agent, participants have to complete missions in various county parks. This application is similar to the fan favorite, Pokemon Go. Right now we have a mission that's at Rose Hill uh, Manor Park as well as Fountain Rock Park and we're adding missions. We'll always have anywhere from one to three missions available. All of our missions, we try to tie them to the parks that they're in. So for Rose Hill, you're gonna learn a little bit about history, maybe a little bit about the natural environment that's also surrounding you and how that plays into our history. At Fountain Rock, we have one that we're actually learning a little bit about um, fishing, um, especially during you know a season where uh, fishing is huge and people are looking to learn a little bit more. So you'll learn a little bit about aquatic life. You can come any part of the day and play. For you know people who like virtual reality games, things like Pokemon Go, things like that, it's kind of set up on a similar kind of a style where you can come and play whenever you want. It just depends on how often we've changed the mission out as to whether you're able to play a new mission or not yet. So by now, you might be curious how to become an agent of discovery. Well, it's easy. You can find the application called Agents of Discovery on both Apple iStore and on Google Play, so you can download it for free. Parks and Rec staff hope that Agents of Discovery is here to stay. So I know it'll be around for at least a year, um, and we're considering how long after that. Um, and it'll kind of depend on our community feedback as to you know how people enjoy playing it and the benefits that they see coming out of it as well.